getting all these things out. Wait. Yeah. I won't complain. Nope. Could you say that you got a handle on it? Okay, well, baby. <laughs> In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family and for this week's adventure. What you doing? We have a bunch of holes where we took the hardware off from last week and we decided to fill in those holes with sheetrock mud. Whoa, new tool. New tool. We wanted to prep the walls where those holes were before we put the travel mud on. So we got a bunch of holes in the walls uh, from various fixtures. Yeah, and since they're sticking out, we don't need to sand this. Gary said that we only really need a primer. I would still like to go knock down all these like these high spots. Make sure it's flat before we fill them. What do you think? Looks good. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I'll come back through. Okay. We worked a lot with sheet rock mud. I don't know how it's going to hold up with a mobile type deal, but if there's issues down the road, we'll just fix it. It doesn't scare us. It's like three bucks for a drywall mud thing, and it seemed like that's what other people were doing. Putting some mud on the whole window. Oh. As you know. Filling in the holes. Getting ready for some paintola. I have a massive spatula because it was bees in that thing oh, the workshop, God. and so I just grabbed what I could and ran for my life. <laughs> So now the walls are ready for some primer. Yes, they are. We have been searching all over Craigslist and Facebook for a couch. A couch, yes. Something to put in there because we didn't like the old one. I thought it was more used than it was even from the last picture, but I thought we'd go look and I think that this will fit our color theme in there. The pictures were pretty blurry. Yeah, but... Ah, we'll look at it. It's only 40 bucks. Lo and behold, we rolled up on that thing. It was a gorgeous couch. I'm a sandwich, a brie sandwich with the brie trees sandwich. Super excited to have that home and looking forward to modifying it. Yes, absolutely. Now with the walls prepped and sanded, we can get started with primer. This is the saddest two inch brush you've ever seen in all your life. Is it? It's missing. Oh. Where's it at? That's to hang around my neck. This is the primer that we're going to use on everything. The walls are a little bit textured, so dad said the primer will probably stick to that just fine. We're not going to worry too much about the edges here. The reason is we're going to do some trim with palettes. Upper level, all cut in. Looking good. Thank you. My heroes come to finish the wall. Starting to roll. It's gonna roll on. We're not really going for a, like a super thick coat. It's just primer. It's just, so just need to look pretty to see the cover. All right, hero, go finish. Go yes. fight, win. It's so funny using rollers. I'm very used to paint brushes, but the rollers crack me up. We normally do stuccoed walls where good luck using a roller that's not gonna work. You have to use a paintbrush. It's so fast, I see why people use rollers. Primer complete. Then we'll come through and hit it with the blue. Okay, so this is gonna be blue. blue. Oh, everything. Well, you're not painting. This, this is, is gonna be the distress. And the oh. ceiling staying the same color. The ceiling stay. This will be the white distress. This will be white distress. These will be white distressed. It might be fun to do our, our bathroom in a different color. Yeah, is it primed in there? No. no. Not yet. All right, you guys are just plugging away. Thank you, thank you. Why, hello there. 
Jared. Hello there, Brie. Welcome to the office. Whoa! And getting rid of the old couch because we didn't really like it. We had to build a box that would go over the water tank, the new couch on top of it. What are you primed and ready to do now? A box for this. A box. Now this is for where the couch is going to sit. Comes up to probably around here. Just got a hole for the vent through and then we'll put the sofa on top of that. I kind of was like no problem we'll build the box we'll plop the couch on there but that came with some unexpected challenges. What do you think? Is dad doing an awesome job so far? You approve? You approve? Yes. I need to adjust it. It's a little bit too far out. I need to cut it back into that a couple inches so I can slide it under the seat of the couch. It's gonna come up to there. You got the box in there originally. Man, the box looks great, but I was a little worried about being too high. Mm. Oh my gosh, the 14 inch. So you're like, no worries, we'll just go grab the couch. Again. <laughs> no problem. Yeah, no problem. No so problem. We, we go out, we grab the couch, and putting that couch in there was the most hilarious thing I think I have ever seen. <laughs> now that's what I was saying. Tried it one way. I believe in us. Tried it the other way. Oh, that's still so wide. Four different attempts. And then Shay finally gave us a suggestion. By the skin of our teeth. Boys, <laughs> we got it by, I it. and I mean just barely. <laughs> our alternative, it's like taking a window off. <laughs> Woo! Good job, everybody. Shay, that's genius. Well done. Shay was the mastermind behind it. Thank you, Shay. You saved us. Yes. That was a successful feeling for yes. sure. Here's our another debacle. This is too high. Everyone came in and helped us out, tried to get us some new ideas for what to do with the rest of the box. Mm -hmm. See those yeah. right there? I thought maybe we could adjust the couch. I would cut it here, uh -huh. all the way around, drop it flat against this. Put the cushions and on. And then put the That's cushions exactly on. That's exactly what I would do. The only thing I see that it would be junky is that this oh, is the spring. Oh, that's this, the spring. Part, that's the comfort right there. Box was too tall, so it was sitting above those pipes that were connected to the water tank. Somebody had the suggestion to lower it a few inches so it's just barely above the tank but below where the pipes are. This is a journey. We so, can't go any lower. No, unfortunately, that's our tap out, but it got it all the way to the bottom. <gasps> so is this the height you're wanting it then? Not quite. Dusty. We're going to take it down even further. Cut oh, wow. it off that way. It's because we can't go down on the platform anymore. I love the color. Oh, so you're saying leave this bit. Yeah, leave that bit so that it hangs over the top. Man, that would look nice. It is time for the color. Shall we see what it looks like? Now it's time to get painting the blue. Going to get cracking into that. Oh, it looks beautiful. Oh, rolls on fantastic. Yeah, it covers really well. Only needed two coats of the blue. Whoa. Yes, it's very cheery. It's beautiful, baby. <laughs> Thank you. We are now on to the main living area and the kitchen part. We had multiple rolly rollies, but Jared was the residential roller. Jared got the rest of this wall going. Yeah. He's first, awesome. First coat. Woot woot. Good job, baby. Yeah, good job to you too. I decided to get cracking into the cabinets and just start prepping them for primer. We are just running some sandpaper across these cabinets here. I went through and sanded them down so they'll be ready for a future coat of primer. I wasn't sure what grit to do so I have, I think it's 120 and then 220 so I'm hitting it with the harder first and then going back through with the 220 something a little bit softer. Yeah. We're going to be putting a lot of layers of paint on it. Can't wait to see what it looks like. I know. It's I was taking out the rest of the hardware and I found a little treasure. I found carrot gold, Jared. What? I found carrot gold. You found carrot gold. A spoon? 
We're really dishing it out this week. <laughs> oh. I got left behind by the previous owner. Very exciting. Wow. <laughs> Look at his the cute skull with kid at the end of it. <laughs> Our first spoon for the house. Sometimes demolition comes with prizes that you yes. just didn't even expect when you get in there. It's so like a treasure hunt. Uh-huh. A little bit. Awesome. Sweet. Pimping out our kitchen and veggie spoons. Veggie spoons. Ah. Hello. Turned out yeah. pretty oh, great. It just covered so wonderfully. Also took these off and we are thinking about doing chalkboard paint. That would be a fantastic that. idea. <laughs> Our next plan is, since we're at this stage and the upper, done. we're pretty done. Yeah. What we want to do next is put the floor in up top. Okay. That way we get a, a good idea of what it's going to look like. We got the under layment foam here. We were like, all right, we're going to have to spend a few hundred dollars. I was a little bummed because usually there's a lot of laminate out there to get. Yeah. Got nice. the boards. The board Boards. They're beautiful. A few months back, we had purchased some used laminate for mom and dad's bedroom. There wasn't enough of it when we brought it home. Dad and mom were very gracious to give that over to us. It looks like it's going to be just enough to cover the RV. The barrier. So, do you know why they have that? For installing laminate flooring, this isn't the first time I've done it. This is actually like the third or fourth time. If there's any unevenness in the flooring, like these deals here that you can't really go get down any further, it kind of evens those out. Also allows the floor to float. I've had a lot of experience going in and installing it. It also acts as a sound barrier. The first two rows are really key to installing the rest of it. They provide support for the rest of the flooring and how straight your planks are going to be. Right in, it makes a pretty clean cut. It does. He was the master in there, <laughs> laminating it up. But the jigsaw, the bad part of the cut will always be on the back side. Let's go pop this in. Let's go pop it in. He's like, no problem, I got it, babe. You just, you just, you go sit down. It's good. You look like you're overheating. <laughs> you go inside, no problem, I got it, babe. He was awesome. <laughs> How's it going in here? It's looking great. Come on, Chip. Come on, Chip. Don't you want to see the new floor? Come on, Chip. Chippy! Okay, oh, Chip. This is cool. Oh, I love it next to the blue. We could not be more pleased with the mm -hmm. color, the couch, and the flooring. Oh, it's comfy too. It's got a little cush to it. I love how the creases are tight. Normally they try to hide them, so it's kind of nice that they purposely part of the floor. He did such a good job, and then we're gonna have trim that we'll put around the edges. Yeah. He did such a good job, he almost went knee trim. I know it. I think but we yeah, probably will, just because it'll look more complete. Oh, yeah. Yes. Trailer's kind of ending up a little beachy. Yes. Hmm, I wonder what that could be influenced by. <laughs> wink, wink, if you followed us, wink, wink. <laughs> I'm really liking it. It's got a fun feel in there already, and I am looking forward to getting back on that project and finishing it. Yes, it's going to be a fantastic journey. Yeah, it is. Well, that wraps up this week. The t-shirt design of the week is True Carrot Gold. If you'd like to get this on the t-shirt, sweatshirt, handbag, apron, or many of our numerous products that we offer, the link will be down in the description. And if you missed on Monday's podcast, we have that available down in the description. We go over questions from last week's videos, so your great suggestions as well. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate you being a part of our family, and we look forward to hanging out with you on Friday for another weekly peek. Bye! Bye. We're tall people, it's fine. Yeah. Jared barely fits in here. Ah, ah, ah. I've got some room. Yeah, I can get some jumping in. <laughs> Don't worry, I got your trash, babe. 
I got you! <laughs> Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. Oh, you know what we can do too is, once we get the floor up there, we could trim the windows, and that would really be complete. There we go, yeah. Okay. That would be fantastic. Because we got the pallets right there. Yeah. Got them all. Hello, pallets. You're coming in with us. <laughs> 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 oh, look at you in that shirt placement. I know, right? Wow, this window looks even bigger. I'm inside.